No matter your coffee brewing method, you can have fresher, more consistent, and repeatable results. Precise and pure doses for espresso, pour over, drip, press, and more with virtually no coffee waste. Hey, coffee lovers, Mark here from Full Latte Love with a look at single dose grinding. Can it maybe increase the quality of your coffee? Might it be right for you? To help you decide, I'll cover the what, why, and how of single dosing. See how workflow differs from traditional hopper fed grinding. Take a look at a variety of single dosing grinder options, including a couple of new ones I got over here coming soon that feature really attractive, simple, clean, and fresh designs. And I'm gonna show you a kit to modify a popular line of grinders for single dosing. So what is single dosing? It's simply grinding only the beans you'll need for a particular brew. You'd typically weigh your beans, load them, and grind them up. Now under ideal circumstances, what you put in is what you get out with various techniques and innovations, ensuring as little ground coffee retention as possible. Now it's really different from grinders with a hopper that continuously feed beans. And those, based on my testing of dozens of grinders over the years, you can have as much as five or six grams of coffee that's gonna be partially ground between the burrs or left in the system between the grinding chamber and delivery chute. So what kind of benefits can you get from single dosing? Well, you're hoping that's kind of obvious, you know, without the retention of a hopper feed, you get precise and always fresh coffee doses. If nothing else, you're not storing beans in a hopper and, you know, it's not a great place to be storing beans. There's no meaningful mixing of coffee when you change beans. Maybe you're switching bean types a lot or you go between regular and decaf. With a single doser, it's gonna be easier to do that if you're using a variety of brew methods. There's no beans left between the burrs of a single doser, so you can go to a finer setting without grinding off beans, so you're gonna have less waste. But I'd love to get your thoughts in the comments down there, especially if you've made the switch from hopper fed to single dosing. Is it for everyone? Well, you know, maybe not, but if you're particular about fresh, accurate doses, and not wasting coffee, it certainly does have its advantages. Single dosing is really easy. Using a cup, you weigh your beans. Once weighed, some SD grinders come with a spray bottle to miss the beans. That technique is called RDT for Ross Droplet Technique. The mist of added moisture helps to reduce static in ground coffee. It's gonna also help it flow more freely through the grinder. Now, not all SD grinders come with a spray bottle or need RDT to operate well, but it can help control static, especially in low humidity environments. If using RDT after misting, beans are usually shaken in a dosing cup to spread out that moisture. I need to place a dosing cup, portafilter, or other receptacle under the chute. Turn the grinder on and load the beans. As ground coffee slows or stops, you'll pat a bellows on most SD grinders to push air through, which helps get any remaining ground coffee out. If you're grinding into a portafilter for espresso, a dosing ring may help funnel the coffee. Some SD grinders include a dosing ring in the box. Should you consider single dosing? Well, if you're using expensive, specialty grade coffee, it can save you some of those precious beans and of course some money as you're less likely to be tossing coffee out due to inaccurate weights and purging for a fresh dose or when you're changing grind size. Now, if you switch bean types or brew methods, there's less chance of mixing your coffee. And it's simple to change grind size when there are no beans left between the burrs. It's also going to be easy to be precise with the weight of coffee you're using. You know, you're going to weigh it once before grinding, and what you put in is going to be about what you get out. No adjusting dose by removing coffee if you ground too much or bumping doses with a bit more grinding and then reweighing over and over again, or adjusting your grind time to get a particular dose weight after changing grind size. From a workflow standpoint, single dosing makes controlling variables easier. That's a big help for all brew methods, and that's gonna be huge for espresso, where grind size and dose weight are critical. Now, on the other hand, a regular hopper-fed grinder might better suit you if you use the same coffee all the time, can put up with a little waste to get a fresh dose, and don't mind the dose being a little off or doing some repeated adjusting and weighing to get it right. Mm -hmm. 
So a quick look at some single dose grinder options. Got a bunch here. If you'd like to learn more, I've linked in-depth videos for most of these down in the description. You know, when single dose grinders first came out some years ago, they tended to be more expensive than similarly specced hopper fed grinders as they were uh, lower sales volume specialty items. As they became far more popular, prices are much closer to comparable hopper fed grinders. So first up, a sneak peek at the Evo and VS3 from Varia. And these will be available very soon. You know, I love the fresh look of Varia's products. You know, they have a minimal design aesthetic that's approachable, very intuitive to use, and engineered to enhance the specialty coffee experience. Now we'll go in depth on those guys right there and more from Varia in new videos that will be coming soon. Do you happen to have a Eureka Mignon grinder? Check out this upgrade kit over here. It converts just about every Mignon grinder for single dosing, including those listed here. The kit includes the Triton hopper with lid and vented shutoff, silicone bellows, and adjustable fork to hold the stainless steel dosing cup. Next up, from Chiato is the Life X. It's a 50 millimeter flat burr all-purpose grinder that can convert from hopper fed to single dosing. You can't have it both ways with timed grinding from the hopper and single dosing when you need it. It's also one of the few grinders to produce a predictable median particle size based on the setting number on the grinder. So it's going to be easy to adjust from espresso grind out to AeroPress, pour over, drip and press. The Life X is an update of the original Life Grinder with a new user interface and burr geometry that's going to get you better flavor and a cleaner cup across brew methods. Eureka Mignon Zero is a dedicated all-purpose single doser with 55 millimeter burrs and it has a really attractive price point. The LX Addison 65 and Eureka Oro Mignon both feature 65 millimeter burrs and both are designed to grind into an included dosing cup. The LX that features that modern design and beautiful glass touchscreen display. The Oro's diamond inside burrs are rated for greater than 3,000 pounds of grinding and those are going to be a good choice for those grinding lighter roasts and denser specialty coffees. That one is available in black or chrome bodies with a solid walnut hopper lid and dosing cup support. Chiato's E5 SD uses 64 millimeter flat antioxidant burrs. Bigger burrs are going to grind faster with less heat and produce a more consistent particle size compared to smaller burr sets. Now, many users really do appreciate the larger collar style grind size adjustment ring. Last but not least, we got the big boy over here. It's the Chiato E37 SD. It's a full on commercial grinder with 83 millimeter, those are big, Opal Glide burrs and a powerful 400 watt motor. The quick set gear is super precise for espresso and the gear disengages for quick grind size changes for other brew methods. Now, this one does include that RDT sprayer, a dosing cup set up for using a WDT tool and can grind into the cup or a portafilter with an included dosing ring funnel. Now, if you're interested in single dosing, I've included a link to all our currently available options. That's gonna be right up here. You get that down in the description, plus links to in-depth videos for most of these products. So is single dosing gonna be right for you? You know, some people really enjoy the precision of the process. And unless you're doing grind after grind, it's actually maybe a little easier and gets you more hands-on, you know, closer to your coffee. The benefits, of course, increased dose purity and weight, consistency, less coffee waste, and a workflow that, again, might be easier, especially if you want those precise dose weights. You know, you just weigh your beans before loading, grind, and you're done. No removing or adding ground coffee and re-weighing. Important considerations, especially for those working with higher end specialty grade coffees. On the other hand, if you need to grind a lot, like many back-to-back -back espressos, or maybe you're not the type that's all about specialty grade coffees and tight control of those variables like dose weight and freshness, you know, if that's you, a hopper-fed grinder might better serve your needs. As single dosing has become more popular, 
SD grinders have come out of that niche status. They're more accessible and available, so prices are now comparable to similarly specced hopper-fed grinders. Now, if you've made the switch to single dosing, I'd really love to hear from you. What advice do you have for others? And if you have any questions, be sure and hit me up in the comments and I'd be happy to get you a detailed answer. I'm Mark, thanks for watching. You know, and if you love coffee as much as I do, be sure and like and subscribe and come on back soon for more of the best on everything coffee brought to you by Whole Latte Love.